Now, if you haven't seen already, Plain Concepts actually has its own graphics engine. And I'm joined by Javier Canton, who is the research team lead at Plain Concepts and indeed the founder of Wave Engine. Thank you for joining us, Javi. Thanks. <laughs> How do you feel about this? How do you feel about being here at, Plain, at .NET even? I'm very impressed this year because i never been in a uh, uh, an event with uh, a lot of people like, like this year. Uh, it's impressive that we, we can get a lot of people in this event. Now you've been at Plain Concepts for many years now. Eight years. Eight years. Yeah. And this year Plain Concepts has taken over uh, .NET from Microsoft. How does it feel to be part of that? And how do you think it, it will be for the company? For for plain concepts, I think that this uh, is impressive, impressive for for us, and uh, uh, we meet here a lot of people from different companies, and we we think that in the future we will have uh, lucky for more projects and working together with the other company to to get same uh, same projects or uh, more projects. Now you are the team lead of the research and development department. Can you tell me more about that and what your role involves in the company? Uh, in this company, uh, I, I have uh, 15 colleagues in several cities here in Spain and out of, of Spain. And we work with uh, uh, different technology like Xamarin, like uh, Wave Engine, our custom graphic engine, for uh, VR, AR, MR, mixed reality. Uh, we also work in uh, 3D visualizer for many many companies, and uh, our focus is uh, are in in to get uh, a 3D view viewer for different application that uh, different companies like a lot of, uh, are working on. Can you tell me more about this Wave Engine that you're working on? Yeah, Wave Engine is a graphic 3D graphic engine. Uh, right now, right now we are focused on industry. So uh, the most project that we are involved are for a big company to visualize 3D data in real time, and, and many environment in 3D or to load uh, 3D objects from different kind of uh, formats. Now you're going to give a talk later about the actual development of this of Wave Engine, of the graphics engine for AR and VR using C. Can you tell me more about your talk? Yeah, my talk uh, was about uh, this technology, Wave Engine, and how we have to improve the code, uh, the C-sharp code, to, to get this working in real time. Uh, because we, we have uh, a small uh, time to execute our code in C-sharp, so we have to make uh, several tips uh, and tricks uh, to get this working and this kind of platform uh, in real time. And the talk was about devices, the, what kind of devices are, we are working on uh, for VR, AR and MR. And also uh, we, I talk about uh, C-Sharp Futures. And uh, uh, the main important session in the talk was uh, writing code when the performance is the most important thing. How do you see the evolution of using C Sharp in AR, VR, MR applications? Okay. Ah, application. Yeah, I think that the, with the new feature that people from Microsoft came today to talk about new feature in C Sharp, new feature in .NET Core, etc., we can we could improve in the future uh, the performance of this engine to get better projects uh, in our future works. Thank you very much. So, um, with Wave Engine, where can people find out more about Wave Engine? Uh, we have a website called uh, waveengine.net. There, they will find all the resources uh, that when you can learn more about this technology and start working uh, on this technology, and then they can find us on Twitter and several net social networks to ask us about how to use this technology in their projects. Thank you very much, Javi. There you have it, Wave Engine, waveengine.net. You can download it, try it out, and if you need any help, he's your man.